Dan, there's a few movies we want to talk about in October. October? Yeah. yeah I mean, it's actually not that far away. No, is it? I know. The year's going so quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, as part of the school holiday lineup, we've got a little Australian film called Runt, which is also based on a book. A lot of films getting adapted from books for the school holidays this year. Um, it's about a young 10 year old girl whose stray dog she wants to take to the Crumpets Dog Show in London. <laughs> um, and it's to save the family farm back in Australia from decimation. You know, they have to give up the family farm because of drought. So if she can win crumpets with her stray dog, then she can save the family farm. I think being an Australian film too, effectively it's a local movie, right? Absolutely, yeah. I think that's going to be an awesome one for, for kids and for families also. Um, another film that must not go without mention and is opening on October the 10th is a film called A Mistake. It's from our local filmmaker, Christine Jeffs, uh, starring Elizabeth Banks as one of the world's great surgeons who makes a very small mistake in a surgery and the repercussions or what can happen from a small mistake and the butterfly effect that that can create from that. We actually did a lot of test screenings here at Matakana Cinemas as they worked through the editing process. So it's actually a film that's sort of literally very close to our heart. So really excited about opening that film and be on the lookout for some event style screenings around that one. Okay. Now one we need to talk about, I was a huge fan of the first one, is Joker. Yeah. And it, it seems like it's been ages since we had that Joker's movie and now the next one's coming out. Yeah, I think, was that film pre-COVID? I think it was ages I ago, I think right? it was. And Todd Phillips, who directed that one and is directing this one, you might recall at the time people were going, Joaquin Phoenix, nah, Heath Ledger's the joke, the Joker, right? I mean, I'm, I have a soft spot for Jack Nicholson <laughs> yeah. as the Joker as well. But he absolutely killed it, right? He did. On that, in that film, he absolutely nailed it. So they brought him back and dun, 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 Lady Gaga's coming into this film as Harley Quinn as well. Uh, Joker Folie Adieu is probably one of the most highly anticipated films of this year when you think about it, and probably for you as well, How you know, given how much you've said you love that first one. Yeah, I'll look, uh, what I'm worried about, though, is musicals. Now, you know what I'm like with musicals, but I, I think maybe social media is spinning it the wrong way. I don't think it's going to be like a full-on sound of music, but it's, it'd be interesting how he weaves all that into the movie. Yeah, and let's put it this way. You're going to go and see it, right? Yeah, You're not absolutely. going to not see it. No. So you'll find out yeah. when you sit down in the cinemas. It may be the turning point in my life where I become someone who loves musicals, Dan. Yeah. Look, I've got to say that on paper, I cannot see this film going south. No, no. Todd Phillips coming back with yeah. Joaquin Phoenix, Ed and Lady Gaga. Yes. They did a phenomenal job on the first film. I can't see them letting us down. No, and the footage I've seen again, it looks it looks great. You know, it's beautiful, and you go, okay, if he can make this work, then I'm going to give him a big high five. Yeah, and I'm excited for you. Yeah.